Ah, sports. Sports have evolved so much, and we're so lucky for what we have today. We have stuff like professional athletes, and jumbotrons, and for, I mean, mascots, and even snacking vendors. And today I'm going to be making a sport. Now you're probably wondering, Bradley, a sport? That's a lot. Like, you're going to have to, like, pay for different stuff, and, like, it's probably going to be have to be, like, professional leagues. And I want, so I bet at least somebody's wondering, you're going to need equipment. And don't worry, I have an entire equipment thing planned out. It looks something like... Yeah. Okay, so here's what we got. We got elbow pads. What the heck was that? Where did this come from? So, we got elbow pads. And this is very important because I'll explain later. A helmet, heavy duty helmet, in case you gotta do some heavy duty stuff. And um, some big boots, some big heavy duty boots. You know, in case somebody steps on your foot. That always really hurts. Okay, so now I'm finally gonna tell you what this sport is. So, I call this sport, well, I don't really know what I'm going to call this sport. I'm either going to call it elbow ball, elbow ball, el elbow ball, or elbowed, like you've been elbowed. So, here's what the rules are. Um, basically, you have a ball and you have a net. The ball will kind of be this size. And the net is not really a net, if that makes sense at all. The nets will look something like this. Yeah, so you have the ball, and then you basically start with a face-off. Face and then you'll have the ball right here, and then on the ground, and then two people will run after it and then whoever gets the ball doesn't have to dribble but kind of like footballs it and then your main attack is hitting somebody in the helmet with your elbow like this then once you have the ball you want to try to grab it like a baseball and throw it into the net the nets will be uh, secured on when w I make this an actual sport. But that's not at all it. <clears throat> anyway, so there's this cup. You see, you can make a ball around this size into this cup for an extra point. The cup will also be secured onto the ground. So, basically, you'll stand from around back here and throw the ball into the cup. Now, if you master that extra point, then, yeah, you can get a lot of extra points. Like, hmm, I haven't really created a point system yet. Let's say, if you score in that, you get five points, and if you get it in the cup, then you get an extra five points. So you can get a total of 10 points. Like, not in an entire game, but, in like one of those goals you can get a total of 10 points but there is one thing before you shoot into the cup over here <laughs> over there there will be somebody with a tennis racket here wait you want to see how I, I don't really have a tennis racket right now but I can make a tennis racket Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, how did that get there? I have no idea. So, someone will stand right there and they will try to block the other person 
from hitting the ball. So yeah, that's my idea for Elbowed. <sighs> Hopefully it'll be a fun game. And I think it'll get pretty aggressive and competitive. And maybe I'll actually play a game of it. Yeah, I'll play a game of Elbowed or Elbow Ball um, when we hit 100 subscribers. So subscribe and tell everyone you know to subscribe. And bye.